So a while back, a reel popped up in my feed. A person showed a set of glowing glass tubes called Lumora. Each tube contained a different gas, and when he placed them in the rack, they glowed. And each tube had a different color. As a science teacher, I knew exactly what it was. They were discharge tubes, the same kind I use in the classroom all the time. So I discovered that they are produced by a company called Halo Plasma. Initially released on Kickstarter, they now have their own website. I'll put a link in the description below. I reached out to them and asked whether I could have a play and make a video on it. So here we are. So let's open it up, shall we? Let's have a closer look at our tubes. Inside each one is a low pressure gas. And I, as you can see, I have a number of noble gases from helium to xenon and also hydrogen. Now the elements that are in these tubes have their own signature color because the atoms that they are composed of emit very specific wavelengths of light. Now it's the same principle we use to identify elements in stars, streetlights, and even fireworks. Lumora's design is similar to a plasma globe. Now, I did a video explaining how a plasma globe works, and you'll find that link in the description below, but also here on the card. Check it out. Inside here, at the base, is a circuit that generates a high-frequency, high-alternating voltage of around 2,000 volts at roughly 35 kilohertz. Now, what that does, it creates a rapidly changing electric field that extends up the tube. Now, this field accelerates free electrons through the gas back and forth. When these electrons collide with gas atoms, they cause the electrons from within the atoms to be excited, and then they relax again. But as they do, they emit light at a very specific wavelength. Now, I can demonstrate that by simply holding the tube above the circuit. You can see it still glows. Different atoms have different energy requirements, and so they release different wavelengths of light. So what you're watching is really just plasma. It's a mixture of positive ions and free electrons that are moving chaotically within the tubes. Now, did you notice what happened when I touched the top of the tubes? They glow brighter. That's because my body and your body, if you're playing with it, acts like a weak ground connection. It increases the electric field strength and therefore, allows the current to increase through the plasma. So more ionization means more light. Now in classrooms, we normally use discharge tubes with metal electrodes sealed in each end. They're actually really great. I've used them many times, but they have a few downsides. You can only connect one at a time. Now that would limit your ability to compare colors and therefore compare gases. Secondly, the electrodes can wear out, and so therefore there's an increased risk that there is gas leakage. Now, the Lumora avoids all that because it's completely sealed and it's driven by an external high frequency field. So there's no internal wires to worry about and therefore to corrode. So in theory, it could last for many, many years. Now, why would you want to buy this? Well, first off, it's a great desk display. It looks fantastic. It's sleek, minimal, and mesmerizing, of course, in low light. The company has also produced a wooden base, and as a result, will look even better in the home. I love the simplicity. Just drop the tubes in and turn it on. No leads, no switches, no mess, except for my USB cable. For teachers, I think it's an elegant way to demonstrate not only gas discharge, but also the different types of atomic emission but clearly with much more style than the old lab gear that you might have. There are a couple of things I'd tweak. First is safety. At the base, you can see we have the contacts and they are exposed. And at the back, it says high voltage, do not touch the node. It's not inherently dangerous. If you accidentally touch it, you will get a zap, but I would like to see them covered in future versions. Secondly, I would suggest a narrower middle section on the tube. 
Now that would make the glow more intense and more focused, which is ideal for spectroscopy work in the classrooms. Now, of course, I appreciate that that would make them somewhat more fragile, but it would be great for science educators. Overall, the Lumora is a beautiful combination of science and art. It's both a decorative piece and it is a genuine physics demo showing atomic emission and plasma in real time. So whether you're into physics, ambient light or both, this I think is a very good reminder that science can literally light up your room. Now, if you'd like to see me test this with a spectroscope, as well as delving deeper into the physics of how it works, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and keep exploring. And remember, like, share and subscribe. And please support me by buying me a coffee. My name is Paul from Physics High. Bye for now.